Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, we are going to conduct stress analysis of pipes in the clamped areas. In general, the pipes are subjected to internal pressure, so it will expand in the diametral direction and it is subjected to circumferential stress. But when the clamps are fixed, it is restricting the expansion, so it is subjected to stresses in the clamped regions. In this video, we are going to analyze that. First, open ANSYS workbench. Choose Static Structural. I am going to proceed with same material for both pipe and clamps. Right click on Geometry, go to Import Geometry, choose Browse. So I have given the Geometry link in the description, you can download it and import the pipe with clamp IGS file. Next select the model and choose Edit. So this is the model. If you want to change the material, you can define the material in the material library and you can change it. I am not changing it. I am going to connections, contacts and select contact region. So you can see that there is a contact between the pipe and the clamp. So it is predefined as bonded. I am changing it into frictional. And in general, the friction coefficient between metal to metal is around 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. So I am specifying 0 0.2. Next, I am going to mesh it. Right click on the mesh, choose generate mesh. Now the geometry is discretized into elements. Next, right click on the static structural, go to insert, choose fixed support. So click control, select the bottom faces of the clamp. So I am fixing the bottom face of the clamp. Next, go to insert, choose displacement and I am arresting the motion of the edges. So you can select the cross section of the pipe. So click control and select both the cross sections, choose apply and in the z direction i am fixing it so in the z direction the displacement is specified as zero next i am going to apply the pressure right click on static structural choose pressure click control select the internal faces and i am specifying one megapascal pressure Further, I am going to apply hydrostatic pressure. So this is the pressure due to the density of the material inside the pipe. So click control, select the phases, choose apply. So I am considering water. So the fluid density is 1000 kg per m meter cube. And in the direction I am choosing components. So I am going to consider the gravity in the negative y direction. I am going to imagine the pipe is fixed in the horizontal direction. So in the y direction, I am applying the gravity minus 9.81. So you can see that the hydrostatic pressure is varying around the internal phase. Next go to solution, choose insert and I am going to insert total deformation and the equivalent stresses. Right click on the solution, choose solve. Now the solution is done, you can click on the total deformation. You can see that this is the total deformation. So this is actually the amplified scale. You can animate this. If you want to visualize the true scale, you can go and choose true scale. You can visualize the total deformation. So our focus is only the pipe. So I am hiding the clamp, right click on the clamp and choose hide body. Now click the total deformation. So you can find that the maximum deformation is 2.5 e power minus 5 meter and choose probe and you can visualize the maximum deformation. So at the bottom portion, the pipe is subjected to a maximum deformation. So if you choose the clamp, you can see that. So this is the free space in between the clamps. So that is why it is subjected to a maximum deformation. 
and uh, you can go to equivalent stress so now you can hide the clamp and again choose equivalent stress so the maximum stress occurs at the contact region between the pipe and the clamp so you can see that this is the location where the maximum stress occurs and the magnitude is 6.7 e power 7 so the reason for maximum stress is so at this region the clamp has a sharp edge so that is why the pipe is subjected to a higher stress concentration at this located location so to save the results you can go to images choose image to file and if you want to change the background you can untick the current graphics display if you want to change the resolution you can change that i am choosing the background to white and you can save it as jpeg file now you can compare uh, the maximum stress value with the yield stress yield strength of the material and you can finalize whether the pipe is under safe conditions or not thank you